Welcome to Headline Simsbury. I'm Karen Hanville. The Simsbury Board of Selectmen voted unanimously to hire Amy Merriweather to serve as the Town of Simsbury's next Director of Finance. She will work part-time until August 27th, as Amy currently serves as the Accounting Manager for the Town of Mansfield, where she has served for nearly five years. She holds an associate's degree in accounting from Johnson & Wales University and a bachelor's degree in accounting from Rhode Island College. A welcome reception for Amy will be held on Monday, June 11th at 5 p.m. in the main meeting room at Town Hall, and all are welcome to attend. Henry James Memorial School's seventh grade student, Nathan Koo, is headed to Michigan to compete in the final leg of a year-long project known as the Invention Convention. Nathan's invention began, as all inventions do, recognizing a problem and wanting to find a better, easier solution. As a middle school student, he noticed the disruption to the classroom when students needed to be excused from class. In addition to lost class time, especially when a teacher has to stop class to write a pass for the student, sheets and sheets of paper were being used every week. At the first invention convention meeting, Nathan came with his idea of an electronic sign-out system and had begun writing a program that he has since named Sign Out Helper. This system has the capability to save instruction time, limit the use of paper, and stop unnecessary interruptions in the classroom all while storing the data. Students use the touch screen to type in their name and choose from a preset drop-down menu with the optional destinations listed, like the bathroom or the library. The program records the time students leave the room and their return once they check back in. The teacher sets time limits for each of the destinations and an alarm will buzz if students have not yet returned. The alarm is optional, but students are quick to return to class when they know there is a time limit. Also heading to the STEMI Coalition's National Invention Convention and Entrepreneurship Expo is Tooten Hill's elementary school fifth grader, Ellie Powers, with her Shopper Stopper. Ellie designed a simple brake for use on a shopping cart that could help her control a loaded cart while she helped her mom shop. She reasons it would make shopping easier for the elderly to load their carts, for moms to keep baby from rolling away, and to cut down on dings to cars in the parking lot. This is one of those ideas where you wonder, why didn't anyone think of that before? STEMI stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math Linked to Invention and Entrepreneurship. Students' creations are judged on several criteria, including originality, effectiveness, and practicality. The inventor's presentation skills are considered as well as the thoroughness of written documentation of the creative process, the resources used, problems they encountered, reasons for choice of materials, final design, and testing. To help Ellie and her family afford travel expenses, Ellie has raised money with recent events like a bake sale. She commented that the shopping cart will not fit in her luggage. If you would like to help support Ellie in her quest, you can contact Jess at 658-7629 or the email address on the screen. Sarah Loudenslager is here with What's Going On at the Library. Hello, my name is Sarah Loudenslager and I'm the Business Resource Center Coordinator at Simsbury Public Library. The Business Resource Center is your local one-stop location for business information and support. We are renowned for our personal service, unique and relevant business programs, and for our carefully selected collection of business resources. Here you will find meeting space, books on a variety of business topics, periodicals including the Hartford Business Journal, Financial Times, and Harvard Business Review, reference materials, computers with access to our online databases and software like Business Plan Pro, and new software includes access to Adobe products like Photoshop, Lightroom, and InDesign. Additionally, we offer a variety of in-person learning and networking opportunities that I'm excited to tell you more about. 
The Business Resource Center is kicking off our library summer reading um, theme of Libraries Rock with a program that is all about the music and recording industry. When you listen to your favorite song, do you ever wonder about its journey from creative concept to published artifact? The music business is a changing and dynamic concept ranging from individual entrepreneurs to multinational conglomerates. It encompasses single performances, tours, publishing and recording, promotion, management, and legal issues. Please join us to learn more about the music business from our guest speaker on Wednesday, June 20th, Dr. Eric Gaum, Associate Professor of Music and Chair of the Department of Music at Trinity College. Other business program topics offered this summer include sweeping changes to the sexual harassment laws and what small businesses need to know, international etiquette for business and personal travel, how to land podcast guest appearances to grow your business, entrepreneurship in the craft beer business featuring Hog River Brewing Company in Hartford, classes on LinkedIn, Facebook, Microsoft Word, and using a Mac computer. Did you know that our summer reading program is for everyone? Whether you are a child, teen, adult, or senior, you can participate. Read anything, it could be a whole book or just a few pages, and check in at Simsbury Public Library each week this summer to win fabulous prizes. Register online at simsburylibrary.info backslash summer, and join us for our all ages community summer party on Monday, June 19th from four to 7 p.m. We will be offering free hot dogs, chips, water, and watermelon, plus fun activities and entertainment. Play outdoor lawn games, get your face painted, watch the Marquise of Granby Fife and Drum Corp perform, and even join in on the marching fun. This is our largest event of the summer and should not be missed, co-sponsored by the Simsbury Senior Center and the Simsbury Public Library. Also, be sure to check out our statue as part of the Simsbury Art Trail Project, located on the lower level en entrance of the library. Follow Simsbury Public Library on social media and tag your pictures with hashtag Simsbury Library Rocks and hashtag so much happens here. So much really does happen at Simsbury Public Library. I encourage you to visit our website at simsburylibrary.info for a full list of upcoming programs and access to our digital resources. If you ever have any business or career related questions, please feel free to contact me, Sarah Loudenslegger, Business Resource Center Coordinator at Simsbury Public Library. I look forward to hearing from you. The Simsbury Newcomers Club donated more than 100 books to the Children's Reading Partners Program of Greater Hartford. Children's Reading Partners Program is a group of volunteers who work to build and improve the reading skills of educationally at-risk public school students in Hartford, Bloomfield, East Hartford, New Britain, Manchester, and West Hartford. At the recent Newcomers Annual Luncheon, members brought books to donate to this great cause. The Simsbury Newcomers Club is dedicated to connecting newcomers and neighbors in the Farmington Valley. If you would like to know more about the Newcomers Club, you can check out their website, simsburynewcomersclub.org. The next time you're on Iron Horse Boulevard, you'll notice a new handsome gray clapboard ticket depot. It's the Simsbury Meadows Performing Arts Center's new permanent ticket booth. A ribbon cutting was held Thursday, May 24th for the building, which replaces a rented trailer and will become the property of the town. The cost of the ticket booth was funded entirely by private donations. Both the ticket booth and the purchase of audience chairs will mean significantly lower operating costs for the outdoor venue, which will save money on rental costs and cut down on ticket lines. Simsbury Meadows Performing Arts Center Board President Dave Ryan thanked the donors for the new ticket depot. 
In her remarks, Linda Schofield, who is Simsbury Meadows Board Development Chair, confessed that she personally did much of the last minute detail work, including washing the windows just before the ribbon cutting, and she thanked her husband, Mark Deming, for doing much of the work inside the ticket booth itself. The next, the next project is a walkway to the ticket booth that will be installed in the fall using engraved bricks. Purchase a brick, which can be engraved with your name or company name, to help raise money not only for the walkway, but to support the nonprofit organization as it brings music and community events to Simsbury. To purchase a brick, visit simsburymeadowsmusic.com and click on the photo of the brick. The Hartford Symphony Orchestra Talcott Mountain Music Festival kicks off with the annual Celebrate America concert at the Simsbury Meadows Performing Arts Center on Friday, June 29th at 7.30 p.m. with a rain date of Saturday, June 30th. The family activity tent will be open to all ticket holders from 6 to 7.15 p.m. where families can enjoy free music-themed art projects and the Hartford Symphony Orchestra's popular instrument petting zoo. Fireworks will follow the concert. Tickets are available online at hartfordsymphony.org. On Tuesday, June 19th and Wednesday, June 20th from 4 to 8 p.m., Simsbury Parks and Recreation will offer Smart Cycling Traffic Skills 101 for the road and multi-use trails. The program is for anyone ages 15 and up. You can register at the Parks and Rec website, simsburyrec.com, or call 658-3836 for more information. The Simsbury Volunteer Fire Company and Ladies Auxiliary will sponsor their 20th annual golf tournament on Thursday, June 14th. Your ticket of $150 will include 18 holes of golf with a cart, gifts, hot lunch, cocktail hour, with an open bar, dinner, and an award ceremony. Guest dinner tickets are also available for $35. For information or to register, go to simsburyfd.org or call 658-1971. On Friday, June 22nd from 5 to 8 p.m., the Simsbury Chamber of Commerce will hold a garden party at the Simsbury Historical Society. Your donation of $50 will include lots of hors d'oeuvres and beverages. Enjoy the sculptures that are part of the Life in Simsbury Art Trail on the Historical Society's grounds. For more information or to make your reservation, contact the Simsbury Chamber at 651-7307. The Focus Center for Autism is sponsoring a benefit concert at Bridge Street Live in Collinsville on Sunday, June 24th. Doors will open at 4 with the concert beginning at 5. The music will include rock, funk, and American roots featuring the Michael Cleary Band, Mixed Signals, and several Connecticut artists. General admission is $25, and Focus Rocker admission is $45, which includes VIP seating and a commemorative t-shirt. To order your tickets, go to 41bridgestreet.com. Duncaster Retirement Community Series, The Art and Science of Graceful Aging, is offering a free discussion about age-related memory loss. The forum will be held on Thursday, June 14th at 3 p.m. Alzheimer's disease is the sixth leading cause of death in the United States, with an estimated 5.7 million Americans of all ages living with Alzheimer's dementia in 2018, according to the Alzheimer's Association. This program will be held on Dunn Castor's campus, 40 Loeffler Road in Bloomfield. The event is open to the public with pre-registration required, and to register, contact Fran at 3805006 or fkent at duncaster.org. The Simsbury Farms Pool opens June 9th. Whether you're renewing your pool pass for the season or purchasing a pass for the first time, you can do it online at simsburyrec.com. Simsbury Farms offers several camps for all ages over the summer. Choose from day camps, enrichment, and sport camps. 
adult tennis and lifeguard training, and baseball fans might be interested in the bus trip to Yankee Stadium for a Yankee versus Red Sox game on Friday, June 29th. The ongoing rivalry between both teams almost always draws a sellout crowd, so best to make your reservations early. To see the full variety of Parks and Rec programs or to register, go to simsburyrec.com. A toddler summer play group will be offered at the Farmington Valley Jewish Congregation, 55 Bushy Hill Road. This play-based drop-off summer program open to all is geared to foster imagination and independence through open-ended activities and is geared towards youngsters aged two and a half to four years of age who are toilet trained. The four week-long sessions in July will meet from 9 to 11.30 a.m. The program will be directed by Sarah Stromberg Kruger, a pre-K and kindergarten Hebrew school teacher. Sign up by calling 860-940-3664. Shireen Wassel is here to tell you about the Burgers on the Bridge on June 13th. Hello Simsbury and welcome to our beautiful and iconic Old Drake Hill Flower Bridge. I'm Shireen Wassel of the Bridge Committee and I'm here to tell you a little bit about our upcoming 6th annual Burgers on the Bridge fundraiser to be held right here on the bridge on June 13th at 4.30 to 7 o'clock and we also have a rain date the next night of June 14th. It hasn't rained yet so we're counting on some great weather. All the proceeds from our fundraiser will go directly to help uh, take care of our bridge and keep it as beautiful as you see it. We need to maintain the flowers in our baskets, our boxes, our gardens on the east and west side, uh, help defray some of our irrigation and lighting costs. So we really appreciate all that you can do in our fundraiser and donating throughout the year, as well as just help us to maintain the bridge for all the people who come down here to enjoy every single day. If you've attended this fundraiser in the past years, you know what a great community event it is. Uh, we partner with Fitzgerald's for our food. and We'll be serving hot dogs, hamburgers, cheeseburgers, veggie burgers. Let's see, we have potato chips. We have soft drinks and not so soft drinks. We have wine and beer. And we have homemade desserts. And uh, we always appreciate you coming down to help. And we have always had a wonderful DJ with us. Uh, in the past, it's been Sunshine Entertainment. And if you just want to stand around and listen or you want to dance, go right ahead and have a ball while you might be standing in one of our lines. Um, so don't cook that night. We want you to come down to the bridge. We want you to bring your family, your friends, your neighbors, possibly even your dog. Uh, we're going to be selling our brand new series of note cards this year. We'll be down here at the bridge selling them. As well as, if you haven't seen them, and I'm not sure how well you can see this, but we've got a beautiful flower basket pendant that was designed by our own local artist, Deb Leonard. Uh, and we'll be selling them here that night, or they can be purchased at Bill Selig. And uh, it's just nice to have a local gift to give to someone. Uh, that, that you'd like to buy something for. Thank you always for donating and supporting the Old Ray Kill Flower Bridge. We hope to see you right here on June 13th at 430. And if you get a chance and you haven't done so already, please go to our Facebook page and like us on Facebook. We hope to see you there. Thanks. SCTV is a nonprofit, mostly volunteer community access television station providing Simsbury residents a free place to share information since 1984. Any Simsbury resident over 18 can produce, submit, or sponsor non-commercial programming to air on the public channel. Call us at 658-1720 or email us at simtv at yahoo.com with any questions or comments. We would love to hear from you. I'm Karen Hanville, and we are SCTV, your town, your schools, your government.
Funding for Simsbury Community Television is provided in part by contributions from viewers like you. Thank you. Walkers, runners, and cyclists are considered vulnerable users. A pedestrian cyclist hit by a car going 40 miles an hour has an 85% chance of being killed in a collision. Please slow down, obey speed limits, and be vigilant about disabling your cell phone and ignoring other distractors when driving. Keep Simsbury a safe place to ride, run, and walk. This message is from the Simsbury Bicycle Pedestrian Advisory Committee.